from Gump. They used to buy from Gump's. It's bad enough the women have no taste. Look at these men. Overly tight jackets. Who is this designer? Oh, my God. Where's a gown by Mon Monique Lahoulue? Oh, my God. The next morning, they have to be in rehab, these women. They're like throwing up looking. They're, they're probably the next morning when they see their pictures and everyone laughing at them. They're over ODing on drugs and they're calling a doctor. I don't know. I give up on you. I give up on humanity. It wouldn't be so bad if they weren't hypocrites. These are the people who are the biggest hypocrites in the, on the planet. They want a sanctuary city. I don't see one Latino there. How come if it's, it's a city of liberals who want a sanctuary city? There's not one illegal alien there wearing an Oscar de la Renta dress. Why is there not one Syrian refugee in there with all these lipstick uh, cases? Look at these three. Pose for a photograph on the front steps of the War Memorial Opera House. Taking a selfie. Could you imagine going to an opera ball taking a selfie? Look at this one. Dixie Lee Mayhe makes her way down the walkway. How old is this one? It's uh, San Francisco Opera's 93rd season. She probably attended the first opener. As they say, shh, this is a woman who wouldn't, know, wouldn't miss the opening of a closet. Guests mingle during cocktail hour at the San Francisco Opera's 93rd season opera ball. I hate opera. I used to go to it. I, I, I wanted culture when I first got here. I got to stand in the back. I didn't have any money. So I was like one of the poor guys, struggling young kids. So I, I thought, you know, I'm a cultural guy. I got to go, go to the opera. I'd go to the back. I'd stand there. See the schmunk. Oh. It was so out of town, I couldn't take it. Tenth rate talent. Bad sets that looked like they were going to fall down any minute. Posers in the gallery. Upstairs, they're aping them. There we are. So here, I don't go anymore. I can't stand it. I want opera. I listen to it on a record, on a recording. I almost said record. Eight five five. What do you think of this? Why am I doing this? Just to show you what hip hypocrites the city is made of. Opera ball in San Francisco in 2015, when refugees are coming out without their underwear, while the city is being overrun by illegal aliens. While bums are crapping in the street, these idiots are dancing around with the Oscar de la Renta outfit. I don't know. Women, can you please explain to me who wears Oscar de la Renta? Where do you get that stuff from? If the guy died, are they still fashionable? What, are they sold on the, on the Internet? Used dresses from New York? These look like gowns from New York maybe 12 years ago at an opera. An opera ball. The women would have wore them in an opera ball and sold them on eBay. Oh, this is so out of town. That's why I can't go there. And to see them all preening and looking at each other. I don't see any people of color. Oh, there's a few. Mary Beth. Look at them dressed up like idiots in, in outfits now. Like, Oh, look at this one. Jennifer McCready fans herself after dancing during the after party. Oh, that's really must be a wild after party. Must have been so crazy and out of control. You go to the after party? Yeah. It was as boring as the before party. Look at this look at this guy. Does anyone tell him his pants don't fit? House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and her husband Paul Pelosi pose for photograph during intermission of the opera. Whoa, she packed it on. Look at that midsection. Man. Too many sit down meals over there in Washington. Me. I don't know. Who who gave her this design? It's not very appealing. A woman of her power and money. With the gut showing. I'm sorry, you don't show a role. Who makes a dress for a woman which shows a roll in the middle? It's not India. In India, they like that. And years ago, they used to like. Did they? Are they still into that in India? Like, I, I couldn't understand it when I first was in Hawaii. I met women who like the thing cut off in the middle, and you show the stomach. And if they were like, they had a roll of fat. The guys thought that was sexy. I said, "What? Is that still popular? Roll of fat in the in the center of the too much curry? I don't know. I don't know cultural norms." Look at this power couple. Very nice. They've done very well for themselves. Very nice. All that global warming and sun. They don't seem to be worried about the, the drought or the Lake County fire. They're not exactly up there on the fire line in Lake County, the opera. Mary Poland walks up the steps of War Memorial Opera House to attend the opera ball. Wow. She must be a real intellectual giant. Whew. Look at this one. J Jane Mudge. Opera Ball 2015 co-chairman wears a gown by Marquisa. Oh, that's a modicum of, I don't know what to make of it. It looks like a dead bird fell on her from the ceiling. Like a giant dead bird collapsed on the ceiling and fell on her head. And she quickly like put it around her body and brought her hair back. You've got to see these pictures to see what I'm goofing on here. 
What is wrong with these women? Are they on medication? They don't see how stupid they look? What a mockery this is of humanity. This girl, I don't know if I knew her in high school, they would have called her a Shonda. Where did this one come from? A pair of legs on her. Looks like, I, don't let me go there. Everything about this woman is wrong. When you have a body like this, honey, I mean, there's one show with gay guys I love. I used to watch it. It was uh, like where they teach you to dress appropriately, age appropriate. You, you're this age and you're this fat. You don't wear like clothing for a 15-year-old girl. Didn't anyone tell her what she looks like? Who's going to tell her? The husband? He's probably afraid of her. Alan Blank wears a dinner jacket by Brioni. This is unbelievable. Sleeves are too long. It's like Invasion of the Planet of the Apes, this one. The pants are too wrong. The cuffs are wrong. My grandfather was a tailor. I can see these things. It's too, it's too long in the waist. Tight around the gut. No good. That was the fashion this year to wear a sport jacket to an opera. All right, you get the picture. That's the city I live in. Bums puking in the streets, and then they're marching around. They're talking about income inequality. Is it any wonder that I don't go to these things? Jennifer Razor holds her Judith Lieber clutch on the steps of the wall. Oh, I bet she didn't want anyone to see it. Wow, I think I'll bring my Judith Lieber clutch. Reza wore a Bollywood gown from Mumbai to the event. Whoa, that's very multi-culty. Bet they all love, oh, she's got rings on the finger. I get it, I get the whole picture. Very multi, they must, they'll invite her in to all of the special events now on Pacific Heights. Pacific Heights is the gloomiest place on the planet. You drive by those empty mausoleums. Most of them were built by the, the great-grandfather. They don't have a pot to, you know what in. A, not a dime, inheritance cases. They have a nickel to live on. The children either are drug addicts, psychos, never worked a day in their life. That's San Francisco society, the cream of the crop. Anyone listening to the show disagrees with me? Good luck. Go call NPR. Heather, KSFO. Thanks for listening. What's on your mind, Heather? Hey, I'm goofing on the photos, too. I had to run to the computer as soon as you started talking about it. Are you, can you believe, can you, Heather, Heather, am I wrong? Have you ever seen anything as out of town in your life? No, and it really gave me the laugh I needed today. Uh, I don't know what is going on out there. It is the tackiest. I mean, the people in Charleston, South Carolina, when they go out, they dress beautifully, you know. And the women look like women. And I love the one that has the ties. It's like she took a piece of elastic, <laughs> put it over, you know, her chest, and then took men's ties and safety pinned it. Yeah, gave me an idea. She probably, it looks like she took a tie from every man she's ever conquered and sewed him up into a dress. That's exactly what I thought. And then the name. No, no, but the one that really bothers me is Nancy Pelosi. If she doesn't have the judgment to see how she looks in a gown that shows her midriff bulge like this, how could this woman run the country? I think she smuggled in an illegal immigrant under that dress so they could get some. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't realize that. That could have done it. I had no idea. Maybe, yeah, sure. I had one wrapped around the gut. It's possible. Looks like she rode there uh, with the top down in a convertible. She didn't even brush her hair. Where is a Diane Feinstein's gown and an old Dick Blum? Uh, it, and the men's jackets don't fit. Oh my God! What's with the sport jackets at an opera? I guess they're supposed. They're trying to wear these small coats. Maybe that saves on material. And no, no, no. It's something that came out. It came out of West Hollywood. I know where it came from. The tight jacket. But, you know, when you're over 20, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. And when the, These are guys 40 years old trying to dress like they're 20. Who is this first one, a gown by Oscar de la Renta, where it looks like a drape? That she tore a movie drape off, off the wall. It reminds me of Scarlett O'Hara pulling down the curtains and making the costume so that she could go ask Rhett Butler in prison for you know, money to save the planet. Uh, oh, so there is a precedent for women wearing uh, movie curtains. Right there in Gone with the Wind. But Scarlett I didn't know that. Okay, so it does explain it. I, I, I see there's nothing original under the sun. I thought that I originally saw that as a... So someone actually wrote about that, that women stole movie curtains. But how many of these women actually get these gowns and return them the next day? They keep the tag. Well, they're probably loners. The jewelry's probably on loan. So that What is a loner? Explain what a, a gown is as a loner. What is that? Well, in order to get the designer's name into the paper, they want to say, you know, uh, Ms. Blah, 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 liberal, war, you know, Oscar de la Renta to the ball, and yeah. you know, that's in exchange. So what, you mean so the Oscar de la Renta company gives her the dress? 
Yeah. And and she and she wears it just to get pictured in, and then she gives it back. Exactly. Oh, so and it's very it's much a, like a cin it's like a Cinderella, only instead of returning the uh, the coach, she returns the pumpkin that she's wearing. Except the one that wore the midriff, that's not going to get returned. I can assure you of that. No, no, that's stained. That definitely stained out there from the sweat and the dancing. <laughs> I mean, the after party. You dance in a tight dress with a midriff like that at the after party, you can't return it. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, I'm getting the women to laugh. I like when I get catty on the show. It makes me happy. Women understand what I'm doing. Men don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, Wait, before we go, I'm looking at, at, at SF Gate, pictures of these goofballs from San Francisco at the Opera Ball last night. And they're showing things I never, I wouldn't believe women would wear. Here's a woman holding a clutch that looks like a bird of prey in her hand. Who brings a thing like that to an opera? It's like walking around with a Fabergé egg in your hand. Hoping somebody notices you. No, the worst is Jane Mudge. I would say the worst. That one looks like a, a bird of prey fell out of the attic and like uh, fell over her shoulders, right? Look at that one. Image 17 of 21. Yeah. Jane Mudge, Opera Bowl co-chairman, wears a gown by Marchisa. In my opinion, looks like a bird of prey fell out of the, out of the attic, fell on her, died on her body. That design company, Marchisa. And, and she's got slumped shoulders, too, to go with it. Doesn't anyone teach these women how to walk? Didn't they go to like a, a finishing school? In the South, do they teach the women how to walk in these gowns? These women look like they would trip on them. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. It is. The Savage Nation coming to a conclusion of three hours of phenomenal, phenomenal inventive broadcasting. No one does anything like this. And uh, this is the most important story, is that after the con man, the retrovirus in the White House, jammed through the Iran deal going against the will of the people, will of Congress, telling us that they're not going to develop a nuclear weapon, that they only want it for atomic energy plants, which is interesting, by the way. No one's pointed this out yet. Here is a president tells us they only wanted to build nuclear power plants, right? Has he built one nuclear power plant in all number in seven years he's been in office? Isn't this administration against nuclear power plants? Then why do we want Iran to build nuclear power plants? What liars? It's so unbelievable to me. But that's not the essence of the story. The essence of the story is the lousy, lying internationalist at the Carnegie Institution for, for, for Communism said for years that Iran was running out of its own uranium. It couldn't build a bomb, right? Who else said that? John Kerry, they didn't have uranium. A day after Obama jams through the Iran deal, Iran says they have a lot of uranium. It's on michaelsavage.com from Business Insider. And they're dancing at the ball, and the band played on. The losers, the liberal lying losers in San Francisco are dancing at the ball in the most gauche outfits in history. Yeah, okay, you get the picture? Iran has discovered an unusually high amount of uranium.